So I set up this command on my stream that viewers can redeem. They'll just type out exclamation point drop and it'll pick a random location from the Warzone 2 map. Send it as a message in chat. Um, and that's where I'll be landing if they redeem it. So you can set this up if you play any Battle Royale, uh, like Fortnite, Warzone, or Apex. And you can also set it up as like a magic eight ball or like a random number generator. Um, you can get creative with it. But let me show you how to do it. It's a pretty cool way to get your chat involved in your stream. And yeah. Let's get into it. So your first step in Mix It Up is click on the three lines right here located at the top left, the menu drop down. We're gonna add a new command. So click on commands. The very bottom, you'll see new command. You wanna click on that. This will open up, I'm gonna open mine up since I already have one pre-made. This will open up a command editor window. Your first step is to name it. I named mine drop since this is gonna be a random drop location. Um, you can name it whatever you want. And then the chat trigger, I pretty much named mine the same as the name, just to, so it'd be easier to remember. Uh, the chat trigger is what's gonna be typed out in chat and it will trigger the command. So um, you wanna make sure you remember that name. Um, the, another feature I added is a currency system. Uh, if you don't have a currency system set up and mix it up, don't worry about it right now, but I made a tutorial on it. The link will be in the description. Um, the currency system is pretty much like a, Twitch's channel point system, where the longer the viewer watches your stream, the more uh, points they earn. But for Mix It Up, it's more customizable, where you can actually give that user a certain amount of coins or like take it away. I personally have a spin the wheel on my stream, where if someone subs to my stream, I'll have to spin the wheel, and they like they have a chance of like earning a bunch of culture coins. Um, but yeah, just click on the hundred dollar bill logo. There's a currency tab right there. You can add your currency to it required amount and then the uh, specific amount so for mine mine's 5,000 culture coins in order to redeem this drop command um yeah if you are curious on how to set up a currency system like i said the link will be in the description um yeah if you don't have one set up it's no big deal but now after you name it we're going to go into the computer go down in your search bar and type out notepad we're going to bring up a notepad and I typed out every single point of interest on the Warzone 2 map. You can do this for like Fortnite or Apex, um, or even not even a battle royale. You can set it up as a, like a uh, magic eight ball or like a random number generator where you can type out like random answers or like questions or something. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is you have to have one word on every line. So like I have one point of interest on every single line. Um, if it has like two different point of interest on the same line, it will just type out that message on two point of interest. So you want to make sure it's on one line for every word. So you want to save this somewhere on your PC, somewhere that you will uh, remember where it is. We're going to go back into the command editor. Um, at the very bottom, you'll see action. You want to click on action and we're going to add a file read and write. So under actions, we'll find file read and write right here. You want to click on that and then add, uh, click on add button. The little plus logo right here, we're going to add it. I'm going to open mine up since it's already here. Uh, once you have the file read and write, you want to click on read random line from file. So when, what this is, it's going to read a random line from the notepad. That's why you need to have a word on every single line. So it will pick one like random line from this notepad. Um, back in the command editor, we're going to find the file path wherever you saved it. So you want to click on browse and find out wherever you saved it. Uh, make sure it's open, browse it, add it, and then back into the command editor. Under special identifier name, you want to click on response. So when this is triggered, it's going to respond with a random line from that file. I'm going to click right here to minimize this. We're going to go back down to actions. We're going to add a chat message. So you want to actions chat message plus button to add it. So under the chat message, there's gonna be two special identifiers. And if you are, aren't are really cure, uh, aren't really aware of the special identifiers, you can click on this logo uh, right here and it'll bring up, mix it up with like all their uh, special identifiers. And there's so many of them. It's kind of confusing if you aren't, uh, if you're like a beginner at this, but, uh, for now, we're just gonna stick to two special identifiers in the chat message. So you wanna make sure it's uh, at dollar sign username and then dollar sign response. 
So the at dollar sign username is going to actually tag that user that redeemed this command in chat and type out their name for you. And then the dollar sign response is going to respond to this file read and write. So it's going to pick a random line from that uh, file path in Notepad and respond to this. So it's going to type out like Steve picked and then farmland. So let me show you how this looks in the Twitch chat. So we're going to actually type out the command drop enter. There you have it. Uncultured Steve picked Almazara City. So like if you're playing Warzone and like a viewer re viewer redeems this, um, yeah, you'll pretty much have to land wherever it is. Kind of like a fun little challenge. Um, you can do it like with like guns and stuff, like have your viewers like redeem this command and you can pick it like as uh the type out like a bunch of guns and then that's the gun you'll have to use. You can get creative with it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. Um if you guys plan on using this or have like a new idea on what you're, you you want to do with this like uh random line generator, um let me know. I'm willing uh willing to read what uh what kind of new things people come up with with this uh fun little feature. But yeah, that, thanks for watching the video. Please consider liking and subscribing and if you have any questions, let me know. I'm willing to help out anybody if they have questions. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.